YouTube, Sim Nation, stand up. It's your boy, getting what it is, Sim Standard. Yo, shout outs to Smitty, shout out to Sim Football Critic, Sim F Ball Critic. They saw this coming. <laughs> Yo, this is going to be a real quick video. Um, I don't know if you saw the uh, presentation gameplay part one of Madden 13 on EA Sports but click that link below and uh, you can look at it for yourselves but this is a real quick uh, section that I just wanted to highlight right quick this is exciting news trust me stay tuned check this out okay as we can see it's a very simple kickoff on that presentation section and what do we have here Wait, I'm not even going to say anything. I wonder if any of you guys saw what I just saw. Um, and, you know, honestly, I am excited about this, if this is actually correct. Um, but let's let's take a little look at that again. Same kickoff. It looks a lot like Madden 12. Yes, I know. Until he gets tackled. So when he gets tackled, you see about four to five player models interact with each other what do we call that folks that's real-time physics of some sort I'm not saying it's like live like how backbreaker was you're gonna look at it again and again and again but it looks like it's some type of real-time physics as you see the two Bengal players fall one on top of each other that is some sort of real-time physics yes in Madden 13 that's exciting news i brought it to you first <laughs> but i'm not saying you know real-time physics is gonna fix anything you know or make madden 13 that much of a better game but it will make it a lot more realistic game and since they have some sort of real-time physics does that mean weight actually matters in this game now and momentum we have to wait until we get our hands on some real-time gameplay, right? <laughs> so, uh, just to break down this footage just a little bit more, as we see it uh, probably another two more times, you know, the players falling on top of each other, the Steelers uh, player that made that tackle, and I'm sorry for the low quality in video, but the, the, the Steelers uh, person who made that tackle, uh, you just look at his leg split you know to me that just that's just telling me there's something with real-time physics also with uh, foot planning and you know the actual human body bending and contorting when hit around is flung around or whatever um, but as you can see we still have the same old man and twitch running turntable running or whatever but this is definitely a step in the right direction. It's a real quick video. I just wanted you guys to see this. Uh, Sim Standard community, uh, Sim Nation community, really. I, I just wanted to bring that to your attention. And that's really about it. Um, wait, let me give you a couple insights on what I saw today in that Madden presentation and uh, gameplay um, playbook, whatever that they had today. Um, Madden 13 is looking pretty good. It really seems like they're trying to streamline football all throughout NCAA 13 and Madden 13. Not just with the controls, but just how the game plays and uh, how players are supposed to react. Because really, they have the same react, uh, read and react stuff that they do, they have in NCAA 13 and Madden 13. So that's really good i really like that um they have a lot more animations catch animations all that good stuff um it's definitely a step in the right direction i don't care who hates that it's the truth because they're adding real football into the game um is i'm gonna be making another video but this is just a real quick video of what i saw um and uh i'm excited for that real-time physics hopefully they can expound on that more when they make their gameplay part two, you know. But anyway, it's been your boy Get It, and we out of here.